In order to solve this problem, what you have to be able to see is that you have something that's raised to the second power minus 9 times something, which is essentially raised to the first power, it's just not written, plus 8 is equal to 0. So this should put you in the mind frame of what we did with quadratics. With quadratics, we would say y squared minus 9y plus 8 is equal to 0. And so we were able to factor this by asking ourselves, what two numbers did we multiply together to get a positive 8? But we had to add together to get a negative 9. So that's going to be y minus 8 is times y minus 1 is equal to 0. And we were able to use the zero product property to say, take each of these factors and set it equal to 0. So y is 1 and y is 8. But for our case, the value that was being squared and the value that was being raised to the first power was not y. The value that was being squared and the value that was being raised to the first power is e to the x. So you're really saying e to the x is equal to 8 and e to the x is equal to 1. So you have to be able to realize and see that if you have a squared term, a term to the first power, and then a constant, you need to be thinking about factoring no matter if there's an x written here, a y written here, or e to the x power. So then you would just take each of these factors, take the natural log of both sides, so you'll have x is equal to the natural log of 8, because the natural log of e is just 1, and then you would have x is equal to the natural log of 1, which you know is going to be 0. And this one, you got to actually put in your calculator. Made with DoodleCast Pro.